For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's find the stretch on each of these two springs required to hold the 20 kilogram crate in equilibrium position shown. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the tension on each of these uh, cables on these two springs. To do that, we need to understand that there are four univectors here in place. So the univector going straight down, univector going towards B, univector going towards A, and univector going towards C. So the first thing we're going to do is find the univectors. So we got Univector A is easy to find because it's going straight on the negative y direction. Therefore, the univector is equal to 0 on the i, minus 1 in the j, plus 0 on the k. Same thing for univector V. Very easy to find because it's going straight on the negative x direction. So it's negative 1 in the i, plus 0 on the j, plus 0 on the k. Now C is a little bit more complicated to find because it has magnitudes on all three directions. To find univector C, the first thing we need to do is find point C with respect with the origin. And point C sits at negative 6 in the i. Actually, sorry, it's positive 6 in the i. I had something on my paper. Plus 4 in the j. Plus 12 in the k. Then the magnitude of this vector C is found by doing the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. So 6 squared plus 4 squared plus 12 squared comes out to be, and all square root comes out to be 14. So univector C is easily found by dividing C by its own magnitude. So dividing 6 by 14, 4 by 14, and 12 by 14 gives you 0.429 in the i plus 0.286 in the j plus 0.857 in the k. And the last univector, so univector going towards the crate, let's call it UCR, U crate. So it's 0 on the i plus 0 on the j, and it's going straight down parallel to the x, so it's negative 1 in the k. Now that we have all the univectors, I'm going to turn the page, so hopefully you've been taking notes. We're going to multiply the univectors by the magnitudes. Now, the magnitude of the force A times univector A is equal to 0 on the i minus A in the j plus 0 on the k. The magnitude of B times the univector B this I mean the force magnitudes, not the point magnitudes. Times univector B is minus B in the i plus 0 on the j plus 0 on the k. Now the magnitude of C, I'm just calling them by the letter. The magnitude of C times univector C is equal to 0.429 C in the i plus 0.286 C in the J plus 0.857 C in the K. And then there is the weight of the crate because the magnitude of the one going straight down is the weight of this crate. The weight of this crate is 20 kilograms times the acceleration of gravity which is 9.81 and it comes out to be 196.2 newtons times the univector for the crate and it comes out to be 0 on the i plus 0 on the j minus 196.2 in the k. So when you add all of this together in statics and equilibrium, you know that the sum is equal to 0 on the i plus 0 on the j plus 0 on the k. And this allows us to build equations by adding the i's, the j's, and the k's together and setting them equal to 0. So last step will be form equations and solve equations, of course. So the equations we're going to form is adding the i's together, 0 minus b plus 0.429c is equal to 0. So 
minus b plus 0.429c is equal to 0. The second one is minus a plus 0 plus 0.286c plus 0 is equal to 0. So you get that minus a plus 0.286c equal to 0. That's our second equation. Our last equation is 0 plus 0 plus 0.857c minus 186.2 is equal to 0. So 0.857c minus 196.2 is equal to 0. So on the last equation, you got equation 1, equation 2. On the last equation, equation what would be 3. You can easily solve for C. And you get that C is equal to 228.9 newtons. Then you can plug that value into equation 1 and equation 2. And you can solve for the other two. And you get that B is equal to 98.2 newtons. And you get that A is equal to 65.5 newtons. So, what they're asking us is not the magnitude of the forces to hold this grid together, but they're asking us for the stretch of A and B. So let's find what the stretch is. The force that the spring B creates is equal to S minus S0 times the constant K, which is given at 300 newtons per meter. The stretch is S minus S0. In other words, the stretch is what will be called delta S times K. So when you solve for delta S, you get that delta S is equal to FB divided by K. We found FB. FB is equal to 98.2 newtons. And when you divide it by K, which is 300 newton per meter, you get that the stretch comes out to be 0 0.327 meters or 327 millimeters. And the same thing for uh, A, the stretch is equal to F of A over the constant, which comes out to be 65.5 divided by the constant, 300, and this is newtons, and this is newtons per meter. And when you do, you get that the stretch is equal to 0 0.218 meters or 218 millimeters. So Final answer for the stretch of B, final answer for the stretch of A. Delta S, let's put B, label them Delta S and A. Final answer, final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.